Well, anyone who's been around this channel for a while pretty much knows that this is a pro rim brake channel. And being that we're a pro rim brake channel, and it was one of the pros being Tajay Podjikar, who swapped out his disc brake bike for a rim brake bike in one of the stages of the Paris Nice, then we have to talk about it. So let's roll that intro and let's ask ourselves why would he change his disc brake bike to a rim brake bike, but only in one stage. Well, Tajay swapped out his disc brake bike to his rim brake bike for only one stage. And we're probably wondering, why did he do this? Well, the easiest way is to just ask him. And that's actually what one interviewer did. They actually asked him. Question, why did you choose uh, to use the traditional brake, the rip brakes, uh, and not the three disc brakes uh, with uh, those final dozens? <laughs> so you guys have more questions. <laughs> no, I, uh, it's just a personal choice. Um, rim brake is a bit lighter. Um, for me, yeah, uh, it's important on such a climb like today that uh, yeah, 300 grams, it's, for me, uh, it's a lot, so uh, yeah, that's why. And his response was that the rim brake bike was lighter than the disc brake bike and the amount it was lighter by was about 300 grams and he felt that that, was, that made a difference to his riding in that stage, which is, which is fair enough. But one thing I noticed when he answered the, the interviewer, he seemed a little bit tentative about his answer, like as if that was one of the reasons, but there was other reasons and maybe there was more significant reasons, but he really wasn't willing to cough up that type of information. So maybe there's more to it than just the weight, but we probably will never know, but we could speculate what that may be. But one thing is for sure, He's changed the disc brake bike out for a rim brake bike on a very, very similar change, <laughs> stages, sorry, in two different races. So the team and Tarje must believe that the rim brake bike on those type of stages gives some measurable difference. Now, 300 grams to me and probably a lot of people doesn't seem like a lot of weight, but at this level, it may actually make a difference. And the whole argument of the disc brakes being able to descend faster down the other side obviously really isn't a factor because then even if you're faster up the mountain you would need to use your brakes to get down the other side and if the rim brakes weren't as effective then you would be losing time so what you would gain going up one side you'd lose going down the other side so for that stage the total benefit must be worth it for riding that rim brake bike so even if the rim brake bike doesn't give you as much modulation as people go on about then the gains that you're getting climbing the mountain must exceed the ability of the bicycle to brake going down the other side because the total output or the total time will be lower on the rim brake bike than on the disc brake bike otherwise they wouldn't use it and we need to be real about this these teams don't just chuck a guy on a bike because it's 300 grams lighter they're going to do some tests they're going to do some training they're probably going to simulate that part of the race and see if they can get an advantage so they would probably do tests with the teams and change out the bikes rim brake bikes disc brake bikes and see if it makes a difference and they've obviously concluded from doing some tests and some riding using those sorts of conditions that there is a net gain now there could be some other reasons why that they're using the rim brake bike which they're not telling us. They might believe that that part of the course is harder to get support vehicles in so they may need to rely on other vehicles or a teammate to change out a wheel and let's be real rim brakes do allow easier wheel changes and that may have been a factor that they considered just for those type of stages. But Obviously, we're just speculating there because Tajay did not, he did not say that or did not mention that. So that's probably another point that they may have considered an advantage if Tajay got, into, got a flat or a mechanical or something that was related to the wheel. They could get one of the teammates up to him very, very quickly and they could change out the wheels without any real issues. And of course, not, you don't have to be a mechanic to change a rim brake bike. It's pretty damn simple. With the disc brake bikes, 
they can be a little bit more of a pain and we've actually seen the mechanics using power drills to undo the bolts to change it to them quicker so when they get hot they must create some problem or seize a little bit for the bolts and they're getting the discs out and having to align them to make sure they work properly so you wouldn't have to worry about any of that hassle of the disc brake the rim brake would be a lot much easier to change but we're just speculating here we don't really know that for sure so in conclusion you can be like a rim brake fan or a disc brake fan or someone who doesn't even care what brake it is as long as it works and i can ride my bike but at the end of the day, at this level, it's showing that at least Tajay and his team believe that rim brake bikes are still faster in certain racing conditions, and that's why they're swapping him out. So it's good to hear that uh, the rim brake is not completely dead, and they're still using it at the highest level, which, you know, <laughs> which I love because I don't want to see the rim brake the rim brake designer bike leave the market and whilst the pros are still using them there will probably still be some demand for them that is enough for them to keep making them whilst if they weren't using them in the pro peloton at all we probably will see that all brands will drop the rim brake bikes but um it's good to see that they're still hanging on and that means then we probably will be able to still get some brands that offer the rim brake design and function and also the group sets and everything else to go with it so we can use those rim brakes. So guys, that's where I'm going to leave it. And as I said, it's nice to see Tajay throw his leg over a rim brake bike and also win the competition and show that uh, the rim brake bike gave him some advantage on that stage. Okay, guys, leave your comments down below and we can have a raging discussion in the comments about rim brake disc brake because people have very, very polarized opinions on that. And that's where I'm going to leave it, guys. Remember to smash, smash, smash that like button because that helps the algorithm to push the video out. And also to subscribe down below. And I'll see you next video.